Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding a dude we put together from cells from various locations. And of course he's been waiting his turn, very patiently, and it is his time. This of course is Carlo Campino. And I guess he couldn't beat an extra rune slot out of anybody. Well, we'll see what happens. If you earn your place in the family, we'll see what we can do about that. So anyway, let's find a home. I have unfortunate and he's going to... Okay, he actually wants to hang out with him. Okay. Okay, what can you say about that except... Yeah, he's kind of tough, isn't he? Yeah, he's really kind of tough. Okay, so maybe they got some kind of an arrangement down here that he's going to be like, you know, the muscles for him. Maybe he's got to deal with Shark. I don't know. All right, well, anyway, this is someone who we're going to rename. I might even call him Carlo. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But for now, we're just going to call him Carlo. Okay, there he is. He's a cute little guy. He hasn't hit the streets yet. He's very enthusiastic, though. He's also a legendary. He's darkness, and he is hardened, which means uh, a f negative effects have a 20% chance of missing him entirely. He does appear to be pretty powerful. Okay, speed is kind of not bad. Uh, life is pretty good. He's going to be a little bit chunky, but I kind of get the idea he's going to be a bit on the tanky side. It's kind of his role there, you know? Stand in the way and beat up anybody who gets near his boss you know maybe grim is his boss now all right let's take a look at some skills here bull the dog deals low physical damage to one enemy and bone eater deals moderate dark damage to one enemy and of course that uh that very interesting uh skill showing his mechanic uh skills there you know all right diet rich in iron deals massive dark damage to all enemies Applies days to all enemies. He doesn't even have to touch him for that day. All they have to do is see him do that, and they'll just be staring in awe. Dazed. Okay. Carlo Gambino does all the dirty work in the canine clan. He's in charge of paying visits to key monsters in rival clans. However, this massive dog has one weakness. Sausages. When offered sausages, he's instantaneously distracted from his duty. Okay, well, we know how to beat him then, don't we? Sausages. Okay, let's feed him some tomatoes now, because we don't want him distracted. Yeah. So we need to get him up in levels, and we need to get him first. He's just a wee fellow now. We need to get him to his teen years so we can introduce him to the gang. So that's at level four. So let's get him to level four. Okay, there he is. Okay, he's got the knuckles. He's ready. He's coming back, right? Please tell me he's coming back. Okay, he came back. Yeah. He's happy about it. Look at the muscles. That comes from working out all your life. All right, so let's start with some skills. That one. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. Whoa, we're starting right off with that, aren't we? Okay. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. That's kind of okay. It's a good place to start, beating up all your enemies. Let's just hope the, uh, the skill names don't uh, follow that pattern. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to level 10 for another skill. Bone Crusher. Deals moderate dark damage to one enemy. 50% chance of applying stun to one enemy. That's a nice solid hit. It's got a cooldown to it. I wouldn't use it anyway because it's only 50% chance of stunning. I'm assuming he's going to get a May stun in the future. Alright, let's continue to level 15. So we can beat up our enemies. On the spot. Deals moderate special damage to one enemy. Applies stun hater to itself. No clue. Not even gonna guess. Stun hater? I know that if you have like um, an element hater, like water hater, you do extra damage. I have no idea what stun hater is. Okay. Still, I mean, it's a moderate special damage hit, one round cooldown. It's pretty pretty high, too. It's still good. I just don't know what that is. Let's go to... 
Level 20. Metal Knuckles. Deals very heavy damage to one enemy. No cooldown. I kind of like those here because I think there's very little chance of not keeping that. So I'm just going to assume that on the spot's going to come back. And I'll probably put that in the last position. I kind of like those in there. You know, it just I, it's my pattern, you know. All right, let's get to level 25. In his final form, Underboss. Applies damage boost, regeneration, stamina regeneration, and haste to itself. Okay, just putting the haste means he's completely overpowered now since the combat system is broken. Well, we might as well just put that there. I kind of like the old self buffs at the end. You know where to find them. Probably going to end up keeping that one. Yeah, why not? All right, let's go on. Okay, there he was, by the way. His final form. Okay. He might want to cut down on the sausages. Just saying. Yeah, let's go on. To level 30 in another skill. Bull Punch. Deals heavy dark damage to one enemy. Applies stun to one enemy. All right, we know what that does. All right, so that's, that's a good question here. One of it. Let's, so let's look at the comparison here. Yeah, it doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as this one. All right, so I'm going to put that there because I'm assuming that we get something better than this. I'm assuming we get something better than this. All right, let's continue to level 35. Whack or Pup. Deals massive dark damage to one enemy. Requires cooldown. All right, so that is an upgrade of that. And here I was thinking we were going to keep that. Yeah, the thing is, it's got a zero cooldown. Okay, that is a nice buff. We're holding on to that. It'd be really nice if it had give me an extra turn, but I guess it would be insanely overpowered at that point. Single target stun. I don't want to get rid of that. It really comes down to, do I want the extra damage in the hit, right? Or do I want the zero cooldown? I got to say, I like the extra, I like the uh, zero cooldown. I mean, I don't know what else is coming, but I think for the moment, I want the zero cooldown. I Except I didn't take the zero cooldown, did I? Yeah, here I was just saying, you know, I want this, and then I just took the one that I didn't want. All right, well, you know what? I'm sure we'll get a chance to get it back. Maybe my subconscious made the right decision. Level 40, War Finisher. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. Applies Stun Hater to itself. Okay, I still don't know what that means, but I guess that's going up here. I guess it is. I mean, it's good moderate dark damage, and if he gets the, the, buff, the buff down, it could be all right. All right, we're just going to throw that in there then. I still don't know what stun hater means. Does he hate classes that actually stun? Or does he hate if they're stunned already? I, I don't know. I mean, that would be useful... If he actually stunned them. I know he's got a single target stun. But I mean if he stunned the group and then he... I don't know. I, I really don't. Alright, let's continue. I don't know if he's got anything else. He might have just one more thing. Level 45. Metal Knuckles. No, that is actually the one I wanted to keep. Yeah, and you know what? I got a two round cooldown. Two round cooldown. This one here... You know, that's like once every four rounds, right? So, I mean, I would have three two-round cooldowns here, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one back for the zero cooldown. It's not that much more damage, but I really want the versatility. Yeah, I really want the versatility. Probably done. Let's see. Level 50. Whacker Pop. No, it's a good one, but I mean, I just can't fit that in. Alright, let's go to level 55. Bone Crusher. Okay, that was an early one and we didn't want that. Alright, let's continue. To level 60. And that was a really, really old one. How much more damage does this one do? Yeah, mine does more damage. And then Stun Hater. I don't know what's up with that one. I mean, if this one actually stunned... You know, the war finisher, if it actually stunned, and then he came back and could do more damage to them, 
then it would make some sense. I, d I don't know what stun hater means. I mean, if the enemy is stunned, he does more damage. But I mean, that's. I mean, he only he only does single target stunning. You know, I, I don't I don't know. I guess maybe if he's with somebody else. But then again, would it, wouldn't it be better if it was applied stun hater and then does moderate dark damage? I mean, that would make more sense then. That way, if you have somebody in your group who did denial and stunned them and he came back and did that, he would do more damage to them, you know? That would make sense. But if you're applying it after, it doesn't really make any sense. I guess maybe you would do, where is it, this one? No, wait a minute, where is it? Or I don't have that one anymore. Right, right, right. I don't have that one anymore. All right, let's just lose this. Okay, so let's just check the skills here to see if anything missed. No, I don't think so if we saw that. Okay, I never got that one. Shakedown removes 30% of total life from one enemy. Is that oh, total life? I'm guessing that means current life then? That's interesting. The four round cooldown. Basically, I would have to choose between that and the buff. I don't know about that. Well, I don't have it now to test with, so there's not a lot I can do about it. It does seem as if that's the one that I missed. I didn't see, I didn't miss anything else. Anyway, let's take a look at his final skills here. Okay. Kind of strong. Kind of strong. He's got a good power. He's, he's, he's meaty. He's not too meaty there in terms of life, but he's definitely above average. Speed is kind of, it's not bad. It's not like he's not slow or anything like that. It's probably slightly above average, so he's not bad with that. He seems to be a bruiser, but I mean, I don't really know what this, I guess you really need to understand what this stun hater is to truly get him. His skills don't seem to be too outstanding, though. There's nothing that made me go, wow, that's amazing. You know, it's just he's just kind of good stuff, but nothing amazing. I'm sorry, I, I I guess maybe if you know what stun hater is, you know, then it would be amazing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to have to test with it. I might have to swap him in to the crew I was planning on testing with just to see how that works. Because I have no idea how that works. Anyway, let's look at the skills. These are the ones that I selected. And uh, the first one, of course, is the one we were just talking about. War Finisher. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. Applies stun hater to itself. So that's going to last for three rounds. I am guessing that that means if the target is stunned, he's going to do more damage. Probably double damage. I'm guessing that's what that means. But I don't know. We'll have to see. I guess we're just going to have to see. Do I have someone who's going to stun? I'm going to have to think about that. I might have to change the way I was going to do my testing because I might need a, uh, a group stunning situation. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might have to save him until I get somebody else I can test with. We'll see. Anyway, that was his first skill. His next skill is Metal Knuckles. Now, there was another one here. First of all, this is deals very heavy dark damage to one enemy. It has a zero cooldown. That's the reason I kept it. There was another one that did insane damage. More damage, dark damage, had a two round cooldown. I wanted the zero cooldown one even though it did less damage to give him a little bit more flexibility because the three attacks he would have otherwise would each be two round cooldowns which would be okay it's just I really wanted the flexibility of a zero cooldown attack now after I start using him I may change my mind you know I after I test with him I may change my mind that's very possible I could very easily change my mind but for the moment going into testing that's what I'm going with then we have bull punch Okay, so deals heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies stun to one enemy, requires cooldown. All right, so this is a two-round cooldown. This is, the, from the ones I picked, this was his sole stunning attack. His final skill is a self-buff. Underboss applies damage boost, regeneration, stamina regeneration, and haste to itself. Requires cooldown. A four-round cooldown. The damage boost lasts for three turns. It's a 50%. The regeneration lasts for three turns, the stamina regeneration lasts for three turns, and the haste lasts for two turns. The way haste is implemented right now, this means he could go three times in a row, or he might not go at all for ten rounds. I have no idea. It is so random now. We'll have to see. Once again, this is something that's going to have to be tested. 
But I mean, it's a good self buff. It's a very good self buff. It's got a long cooldown, but most of the things last for three turns anyway. So I mean, there's a lot of good stuff there. Fifty percent bonus regen. It's not something you want to do at the start of a fight because otherwise, well, you could, I suppose. Because I mean, the thing about it is, if you did it at the beginning of a fight, well, actually, you'd really like him attacking, wouldn't you? But I mean, if you did it at the beginning of a fight, you would have regeneration, you would have stamina regeneration going, and you'd have the haste and the damage boost for his attacks. I mean, if somebody did a um, a freeze on the other side or possessed them or something and they weren't going to attack you, yeah, you might want to do this buff so that when you attack, he does more damage. You know, like with this. So that could be very well be it. So anyway, he's kind of... He's, I don't know, really. I mean, he doesn't seem outstanding at the moment. I mean, if you're going to ruin him, I would obviously strength. Everything he does is damage. I don't really think he benefits too much from speed. Probably, he'd probably like a, a life one, but you know what? If you're using this guy, you're probably wanting to beat somebody up. So, I would probably a couple of strengths and a life, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't really know what his role is. It's really, I mean, he's not going to be denial. I guess maybe he could be uh, damage if there's good denial in the group. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to test with him. This, this is um, a fella that really is going to require testing to truly understand him. But anyway, this is Carlo Campino. And he's darkness. And he likes to beat people up. And we're going to have to find out whether he's good or not. Honestly, at the moment, I'm not really sure. But anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games. Because games are fun. See ya.